Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with a, with a very long video. I'm telling you up front, it's not going to be quick. So grab your pearls and let's go. So y'all have listened to me talk about how much I love Corey Dahman and all the things she's doing for her idea book. And I already showed you the first signature of three. Well, there were five. I took two out, so I have three left. So I finished signature one, and I'm almost fin finished with signature two, and number three is totally empty. So I have not had time to work on that because I have been knee-deep in, I think it's been two solid weeks of night and day working on a project, and I finished it half an hour ago. And so I want to do the video now because if I forget, which is highly probable... All right, so here is what I've been working on for two weeks now. This is the a book that Corey has shown how to put together. It's a um, three-piece binding, which means this is not connected to that, not connected to that. There's a seam where there's some kind of flexible material in between. I did not do mine exactly the way she did hers, but I used what I had because, you know, as I've said many times already this year, I'm not buying anything this year. I don't need to have to replace something or to finish a project where I need to finish. I need supplies to finish it. I'm trying not to do that kind of thing. So here it is. It's a chunker. I don't usually make books like this, but boy, Hattie, <laughs> I'm tired. All right, so I'm going to do a flip through. This is a series of videos that Corey did that involves 36 pages. Yes, you heard me right. 30, 36 pages? Yeah, 36. And I did all of them but one. <laughs> I'll show you the, the last one. All right, so here's the cover. The cover is, is um, pieced together with mosaic with leftover scrap material, and then it's sewn on the sewing machine. Yes, I know. I said sewn on a sewing machine. Swear words. Swear words. All right, so here's the inside. The inside, now this is a black and white book, so you will see some smattering of colors, but basically this is a black and white book, and I intended it to be like that. So first thing is there's a pocket, and here's a, just a plain tag. There's nothing on it. it I did... Uh, somebody showed a technique to make it look patchwork like a quilt and then to sew it and I conveniently forgot about the sewing part. <laughs> this is a scrap cluster with uh, a little tiny plastic white flower and a yellow bread. The little plastic white flower was a gift from a friend and she sent me a whole bunch of little doodad type stuff and some brads and safety pins and so I put them to use. This is also, at first this is glued together and then I sewed it on the sewing machine. You're going to hear the word sewing machine a lot. And I'm really sorry. Because <laughs> I really hate to sew. Okay, so next one. This is um, a tag, I guess. I don't know. When I was a kid we called them bookmarks, but now everybody's gussied it up and said it's a tag whatever or if it had paper on the back of it where it was plain that call them journaling cards eh, whatever tomatoes tomatoes All right so this is slipped inside a glassine small glassine bag that's glued in here to make tuck spot for this it has a little um, button cluster here with some lace that was gifted to me from the same person who gifted me the other stuff and i'm putting her stuff to use i just want her to see it she knows who she is this is a matchbook that has writing paper in it. All these, most everything in here I learned from Corey Dahman's videos. And I am, a, I try to be a good student. So it's just scrap um, black, the uh, scrap of paper with white computer paper. I mean, I had to, you know, I had to use what I had. And the button, I think I already had these mini buttons. This is a journal card with a tab on it. And Corey took um, second and third stampings and then stamped on the card to make it look interesting. And yes, that tab is sewn on there. 
Next page. Next page is a uh, corner pocket. And I don't know all the proper names that she calls these. I'm just going to say what I think they are. With a tag. And no, there's nothing on the back, although you could journal on the back, but let's face it, who really does that? This is Grow Grain Ribbon. I'll just put it back in here. And then there's another little pocket. And on this little teeny tag, I did a to-do list. Smile, laugh, share, and inspire. Why is it not focusing? Come on. Come on. Let's go back this way. There. All right. So there's that. And it's black on the back. These, whoops, are two stacked pockets made out of scrapbook paper that matches the tab on the corner. This is one of these little flowers that Corey shows how to make in her videos. You just punch. Now, I had to use the punches that I have. She put more stacked punches. I only had three punch sizes, so that's what I used. And then a black um, brad. Then I cut leaves, or punch leaves with my leaf puncher out of miscellaneous nondescript stuff. These are little tiny envelopes that are just squares of paper that you fold up. Oop, maybe not. <laughs> that you fold up. And these are supposed to be little like um, journaling envelopes that you can journal on the inside of them. I folded up it correctly. There we go. Um, so the top one, I think I glued this too far to the top and hers were like sitting in there like that. I can't put mine in there like it or it will stick way above the top of the book. So I just put them in like that. And these two I made way too big and they're the same thing as the small one. So I just turn them on their sides and in the pocket they go. This is a pocket that has lace sewn on it. Also glued. I did tack it down a little bit so it wouldn't wiggle around a lot while I was gluing it. It also has a little tiny, um, what does she call this? Flip down out of coffee dyed paper and I used black ink on it and then I um, embossed the little dragonfly on it and it attaches to the pocket here. And then behind that is a journal card that has been on Instagram. This is what I was making for on Instagram is these journal cards, which are old business cards from my old personal chef business. And I hate to waste them because I have, oh, I probably have between three to 500 of them. <laughs> so uh, the cards will probably outlive, outlive me at the rate we're going. So I took it and backed it with another card so that it would make it a little more sturdy and you wouldn't see my phone number on the back. This is um, a stamp. I think this one was gifted to me. And I took glossy accents and did the whole thing with glossy accents. I See how it shines? I really like this card. Then um, I used my cotton sheets that I ripped up that I had dyed, I don't know, last year or earlier this year. Um, and sewed the tabs on. She said it gives you a better profile to make it lay flatter if you don't do a knot and it absolutely does. So then there's the pocket and then I took a piece of scrap that was triangle shaped and glued it onto a longer piece of scrap and glued that on here and then put the L on it. L means nothing to me. It's just an L. These are again stacked pockets. And these are those little envelopes that were like the other ones. There's a tiny envelope in there because of the, the height issue. And this is a side pocket. If I get this out, that has a little tag in it on it. That was embossed with a yellow embossing powder. This is a stamp. This is, um, it's really funny. It's a kind of ribbon that has sticky back on the back of it. It's like a washi ribbon that has sticky back on it. I don't know where I got it, but I have some in red and black, and then I have some in yellow. I might have been gifted the yellow. I don't remember. I know 
I've had the red and black a while, but the yellow was new to me. Then on the other side is our pockets that a paper that is squares that are folded into triangles and they crisscross. So what is in there is a is a tag with a pocket with another little tag in it. I covered up the back so you wouldn't see anything. This is another little tag. It's black on the back. Then these slide under here. Then it has a side pocket. There's just another little card. And then this side I glued two tickets together so that they would fit in here because I had it where they were single tickets, but they kept scooching around. I decided, nope, nope, nope. One long one. We'll scoot it in because it's only going to go in so far because of how tall it is. Works. This is a belly band, and the material that it's made out of is a photograph that was printed of some cat, hand, some hand-drawn paper beads that I made that had cats on them. This is a stamp that I have of um, embroidery thread and then the other side because I had sewing on this I did sewing on this one and then I just took some scrap thread that was laying on the desk and glued it on there next one has tall pockets there are they're envelopes but they're used as pockets because they're turned a different direction and the flaps are arranged a little differently. Then there's the tag that goes inside there. There's nothing on the back. This is a real tag. Then I have two buttoned um, brads on it. Then this is a cluster and it's sewn. This is glued on there, and then it's sewn over, and then I glued a little gray button. I have these the bunch of little mini buttons that I've had for a long time, so I started using them. Here's another tag, and this is just one of those manila tags. This was gifted to me, and so is this other one. And this is an envelope that's just folded differently. Instead of it opening up this way, you fold it different, and you leave the side out, and that's this part here. Next, is trying to cram all the stuff back in. This is just a scrap pad. So I have scrap vellum, and I took, um, I, th I think I bought this at Hobby Lobby when we lived in Virginia Beach. But this was um, a stamp set with an old-fashioned ink pen, the ink well, and then glasses. And I took scraps and sewed them on there, and sewed the scraps after I... Um, used my line stamp. I stamped all, all the lines on all the pages. I hand ripped them and then I blackened the edges because the white was a little stark. So it's a little notepad and it is flipped over the edge but this is the best part. It has um, magnets in it because it straddles the other page. So to keep it from sliding around there are magnets on each side of it. You turn over on this side, and on the back side of it is a miscellaneous tag with just stuff on it. Then um, she showed how to make a pocket out of a circle, and I learned how to make a pocket out of a circle and took a little fake folded up envelope, and it goes inside the circle pocket. This is all sewn, and this also has the magnet on the back side, so snap shut. So there you go. You have something on the front, you have something on the back, and it's not scooting all around. This page is has a pad on it, a writing pad, that I took vellum. I cut an oval with the... Um, oh, I actually did this one by hand, I think. And then I had a stamped picture of a flower that was gifted to me. Put paper in. Sewed the top. There's that one. Then there's another tag. This has a belly band, a scrap belly band. I'll tell you about it in a second. Then this is another tag. 
And I put this on the back because the brads are on there. I should have cut the um, parts, the legs off of the brads and just glued the top of the brads on here. I do that later in the book. I finally realized that that was unsightly on the back. So this is to protect the paper. Then there is... A, what she calls a stamp pocket. It's just scrapbook paper with a vellum or tracing paper sewn at about a half where you can slide stuff in it. Some of the ones she has has got it split in half so you can put a postage stamp in this side, postage stamp in that side. This belly band that it, this is glued to is made out of scrap paper. I just took a long piece of, what was it? That was scrap black cardstock and then after they were all glued on there I sewed it on the sewing machine. Then this was inside the stamp pocket. This has a pad for paper. It's all out of scraps. Another little tiny tag that says to do in a little tuck spot here on the corner. And then that all goes inside here. And then the, the back of this the reason I did it with a cardstock because it makes it a lot easier for it to stay where it's supposed to stay. Move it over there. All right, so that's that page. And the next one are the stamp, is a giant stamp card. She calls them stamp cards, but it's vellum sewn with a black piece of cardstock and divided in half. And I have stamps that are both of these leaves and decided to do the leaves in here because I like leaves. And then in the back is one of the journaling cards that was featured on Instagram. I covered the back with more scrapbook paper. The word sun came from a nice tablet that somebody sent to me. And it had a sheet in it that had the alphabet. So I cut all the letters off. And then I found the words to put the, the letters to do the word sun. And this is all from scraps, from doing some of this other stuff in previous pages. And then that just slips here in the back. The next one is a side pocket. The side pocket has a tuck spot underneath it of a journaling card. Yes, it's got sewing. Ugh. So on this side, this side, again, I found a piece of scrapbook paper that had a whole sheet of nothing but the alphabet. So I cut the whole sheet up and I used the letters from that sheet to spell the word notes. That slides underneath. Then here's a spot for a tag. And this is made out of leftovers. This is my artwork, my doodling from about oh, 12 years ago. And it's black on the back. And then this is the pocket. You tuck it inside. And this is sewn. The pocket is sewn onto the other part that's glued to the back of the, or to the page. And this was some kind of, I don't know where I got this from, but I really like this. And I have those little pop-up, pop, pop up, um, they're not pop dots, they're the kind that, I don't know, they're not enamel either. But they're all kind of coated, and they come in different sizes of different um, patterns of black and white, and that uh, was perfect to put on there. Then the other side is another pocket, and here's another journaling card. And I just had stuff where I stamped it and cut it out to embellish it. This all says read, 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 read in my handwriting and stamping. Here's a little um, cluster that has a beautiful red flower on it. I just love this little red looking flower. And it has a piece of old sheet music and it zigzagged all together. Just for a little smattering of color. All right, this page was dumped the negative negative spot, except for I wish maybe I had put this down a little bit lower. And then these are scraps that are glued on there. There is a ticket here that was the stamp set was gifted to me that I have just used the daylights out of. Here is um, a ticket that has the number cut off the top of it, and it's got glossy accents on it. Then inside that is a um, accordion little booklet, a trifold, and it's sewn around all the edges and blackened, and the tab is sewn down, and this is all from scraps. The white paper, no, but it, but this 
the tab is scraps. And that goes in the pocket there. And then the rest of it is leftover scrapbook paper, and then it's framed in leftover pieces of scrapbook paper, too. This one's just a pocket that has a, a little card. I have the stamp for the stamp for this. Stamped it on there, lined it with the black cardstock. Then I was gifted a bunch of lace, and so I glued the lace on there. I, did I, oh, this is sewn on there, too. Glued and sewn. This is scrapbook paper. These are little stamps that I had that um, I stamped, and the, these stamps, I think, were gifted to me, rubber stamps. And then I stamped those, and I cut them out. This one is a lace lace card where she just took pieces of lace randomly and sewed them in the card and then glued it in here. This is a little book that has white paper with black edges and scrapbook paper on the top. And it's done on a card that I cut out of a um, cardstock 12 by 12 tablet on the other side. And then I took um, washi tape and made a little book. Open it up, there's a pocket here for this little card that says number four. I'm not gonna tie that, it'll take too long. All right, and here is a stacked three pocket. I did not do this exactly the way that uh, the way that Corey did, but I got the gist of it. So this is all um, ephemera that um, the stamp set was gifted to me and I just stamped all the stuff on it. Here is the journal card that's tucked inside there with some sewing and some glossy accents on it. This, <laughs> my sewing machine tension was not going well, so I just started doing it on a black piece of cardstock and I figured it was interesting enough I should use it. And you can see a little bit of the sewing through on the other side. I was kind of aggravated that my tension was wrong. I figured out that I threaded the bobbin wrong. It's all my fault, I'm sure. And here's another piece of it right here. And I just glued a cluster on there that had zigzag stitch. Hang on a second, the dog. Nothing like listening to whining in the hallway. Feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. You are three seconds late. Feed me. <laughs> okay, so... This is a belly band with a pocket. There's a journaling card here. Yes, that's uh, part of that black cardstock that has the sewing on it. I figure why waste sewing because I really hate to sew. This is cut out of a uh, 12 by 12 cardstock that I had. This background here was stamped with the stamp I had because I didn't have white pages to use. So I stamped it and cut it out of white cardstock. This is a stamp set that I own that I made a card. And then the belly band's made out of that same black cardstock. There's a cluster. This one is so busy that I, I, I don't really like this page because it, it seems too cluttered, too busy. But, you know, live and learn. It's my first time. All right, so there are two different kinds of there's two pockets on here. So this is a, what she calls a trifold with a, another pocket. This is a stamp with some lace in it. And yes, I did sew across there to save the profile. And it's stamped on the back and has a little ephemera on there. And there's another one. After you have this part, then you don't glue it flat down, you just glue around the edges and it gives you a spot in the back to have another place for a pocket. This is my, uh, this is doodling that I did many years ago. And then I made sure that the back looked nice. I didn't want to do everything with black cardstock on the back. And then on the other side, there's an embossed piece of vellum that is black, dry, dry brushed. And then here's a little tiny cluster, and it's just a little trifold again. And in the pocket it goes. Always much works much better when you're not on camera, doesn't it? <laughs>